Hi, Buck. This is uh, Kent over in Visalia. Yeah. Say, I we want to do this telephone uh, uh, interview with you, and I have Peter Dudek, and he's going to get on the line and just talk to you a little bit about okay. uh, the oil field. So here's Peter Dudek. Yeah. Hey, Buck. My name is Peter Dudek. Uh, I'm just going to ask you a few questions here that, that are going to help us out here with this project. And... Um, First of all, we wanted to ask uh, about your experience with the oil drilling business, uh, about your company you had, and how many years you've been in the oil drilling business and whatnot. Well, I've been in the oil field a total of 53 years. And, uh, I had uh, Shamrock West Drilling Company. I started that in 84, and we went to uh, 96, I believe it was, 97. And so then I I shut that down and sold the rig, and then I bought an, uh, 17 wells at Tehachapi Canyon, or Tapia Canyon, and then I bought an, or I built up another rig. I, I completely re rebuilt that Shamrock West rig. I went clear to Texas and brought it back to California and then rigged it up for California. And then I built another one, and I drilled for Oxy and uh, Bakersfield Energy with it, which it was a good rig, but then I fell off the back of my truck and broke my neck, so I couldn't really see out the back to move the rigs anymore, so I just brought it down and sold it. And so I retired about 2001, I think it was. Okay, okay, Buck. Um, so now Kent Kent says uh, the the well that that's being drilled that he's working on over there on the west side of Kern County in uh -huh. California. He um, what we wanted to ask you was the general area is. Do you consider that to be a generally good area to drill for oil? Well, yes, it is because Bell Ridge, North and South Bell Ridge, is just to the east of it, and then there's. Uh, Antelope well, Hills to the northeast, and then when I was out there a year ago, year yeah a year ago, just west of there, about another four miles from where his location is, northwest, I was working for uh, an oil company as a consultant, and. They got a discovery of the Vedder Sand, which is that Vedder Sand developed and it's out there. That's that's a money making pool. That Vedder Sand is, but the Tulare and uh, Antelope Shale is good. For, there's three or four. You got four different formations to go down before you get to the Vedder. So you got a four chance, you know, to make a produ producer. Okay, so you have four four formations to go through. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Hey, um, now the the actual drilling site that Kent's talking about, west of the South Bell Ridge oil field, about eight thousand feet west. Do you remember the site? Have you have you been on that site before? Yeah, I sure am. Okay, do you consider that specific site to be a good specific area to consider drilling for oil? I, re I the best I remember of it, I would say yes, because it's between Antelope Hills and Bell Ridge. Okay, great. There, there is oil wells in the area. Okay, perfect. Now, um, now everybody knows that in the oil business, you know, you don't always find oil in every well, even in the best areas. So, and and even with the best geology reports, but do you think that this is a good area to be drilling a well? If you were rating the, I guess we wanted to look for a, like a, a a scale on a scale of one to ten, with ten being the best. How would you rate uh, Kent's site on a scale of one to ten? I would say it'd be a ten. Right, great. Yeah, so, because your formations is more or less running uh, northwest and southeast. Okay. Through the Bell Creek field or yeah. Bell Ridge field there. Okay. And uh, so, and it's not that far between it, so it stands just as good a chance there as I would say for any place. Okay. All right, Buck. Thanks. Um, now, 
let's see a couple other questions here um, about how many wells have you drilled in that area or and in the South Bell Ridge area do you remember about how many wells you drilled in that general area oh, I'd say around 1100 1100 wells yeah okay and then up in uh, Lost Hills field up there for Bakersfield Energy Resources we drilled probably another hundred okay and and have you ever hit any wells that were that you consider to be uh, high production wells in that area? Yeah, up there at uh, North Antelope or Lost Hill. I mean, for Bakersfield Energy, they them things was they were trying to kick out on us when we was drilling them. Kick, now, I'm not real familiar with that term. What does kick out mean? Well, a uh, blowout. A blowout. Yeah, we had to keep our mud up heavy to drill them. And those was those was twenty seven to three thousand footers, uh, and coming out of the antelope uh, shale, uh -huh. which they're well. Okay. Bakersfield Energy started, and they they were in business eleven years. I think it could have been twelve, but they sold out and. For millions and millions of dollars, and all the shallow wells my company drilled. Okay, and those those uh, those wells, uh, how many barrels a day do you think they were? Well, some of them would come in uh, oh anywhere from three hundred to maybe eleven, but you know then they'd fall off some. Uh huh. But they were, I think they've got a big water flood in there right now. Uh huh. And but it was high gravity oil. High gravity oil. Okay, right. it's anywhere from three hundred to eleven hundred barrels a day. Yeah. It, well, they can vary, you know. Yeah. And I can't pinpoint right on exactly. I yeah. would say probably out uh, where where uh, Ken's lease is. I would say that that would have just as good a chance as any of them coming in. Okay, that's fantastic.